they setting up the Delphit trampoline TR06 trampoline Delphit type. It's 10 foot long. We're about to set it up. Let's, let's go. The whole process took about two and a half hours. But follow me as I assemble this TR06 trampoline together. Here's the step one. Step two is to assemble the foot pipes. For the step, please prepare three foot pipes. That's number one, and then six leg pipes. Number two, six M6 10 mm bolts. Number 14, and the Allen wrench number 20. Those are the tools you will need for this step. Step 3. Assemble the frame pipes. For this step, please prepare 6 frame pipes. That's number 3. 6 M6 lock nuts. That's number 18. 2 wrenches. That's number 20. Number 22. 6 frame joints. Number 22. Uh, number 23. 6 M6 48mm bolts. Number 24 and 6 M6 flat watches, that's number 25. Attach a frame joint to the bigger side of the frame pipe. If it is too difficult to insert completely, please knock the square tube of the frame joint with a hammer. Attention, don't knock the round tube or it will be deformed and damaged. Connect the smaller side of the second frame pipe and then connect other frame pipes in the same way. For the last connection, please place one side against the wall and then try your best to press frame pipes of the other side inward so that the frame can be connected well. Attention, before you connect all frame pipes, don't screw bolts to fix them, otherwise the final main pipe will be difficult to connect. Insert a M6, the 48mm bolt, from the outside of the frame joint. Screw a M6 flat washer and a M6 lock nut to fix. Connect other frame pipes as above and then attach three foot pipes assembled to the frame. This section is one of the tough steps in this video. As you can see the pipes are coming off until I figure out that I needed to put the bolt and the nuts to hold it down and the last step which you will see here shortly was very tough we had to lift it up uh, we didn't want to move it to the wall so myself and my wife held it up and we used a hammer to knock it in be careful with this step as this step is a critical step 
in the whole step continue watching Step 4. Assemble the jumping mat. Attention. Two hooks of the spring number 5 are different. The sides or the ends of the springs are different. There is an end that has a very curved hook, a very inward curved hook. And there is the other end that is like a, a little curve. You see it when you take a look at it. One side is carved all the way, almost touching the the next leg, and one side is just carved all the way to the to half. So pay attention to this hook because the more carved hook should be attached to the jumping mat. Number four. Uh, while another side should be attached to the frame so the frame side gets the less curved end of the spring and the mat gets the most curved end of the spring you need to attach the springs by using the spring hook as follows or it will be difficult to finish the T hook wrench so to call that came with the package is what you need to use to attach these springs firstly attach a spring every 10 holes secondly attach a spring every 5 holes thirdly attach a spring every two holes finally attach the remaining springs to the remaining holes this is important so that you will not have difficulty attaching the spring all around the mat onto the frame again don't try to attach the spring continuously make sure you do 10 holes first and these 10 holes has to be the ones across from each other for instance if you start from one leg of the of the frame make sure you go all the way across to the other opposite side and put the next spring over there and when you're done with that move to the side 
something like north, south, east, west, you know, and then when you come around to do the five holes at a time, that would be something like north, east, and then east, south, and then uh, southwest, and then west, north. And then like that I hope you get what I'm trying to say here if you do apply the spring continuously there will be difficulty when you get to the half of the mat everything will be pulled to one side and you will have to take it all off before you can start again and do it the right way I hope you get what I mean here Continue watching. Step five. Assemble the spring pad. Cover the spring pad number six on the springs and then tie the rope under the pad. This step is very important and be careful because you could have the spring pads in the wrong way at first. In order for you to make sure that these spring pads uh, place the right way the first time make sure where the ropes are are facing downwards and the top side is kind of like shiny that is the right way to put the spring pads and these spring pads are the pads that will protect children or adults from stepping on the spring and getting their leg caught in the spring that could be very very hurtful you don't want that to happen to you or your children so cover the spring with the spring pads in the correct form Step 6. Assemble the support pipes. For this step, please prepare 6 upper support pipes which is number 7, 6 lower support pipes which is number 8, 12 M675mm carriage bolts which is number 15, 12 brackets which is number 16, 12 washers which is number 17, 12 M6 lock nuts which is number 18, and two wrenches which is number 20 and number 22. The lower support pipe has two holes on one side while the upper support pipe doesn't have one. That's the way to identify which pipe goes below and attaches to the legs and which one goes above that extends the pipe up more insert and below support pipes to each upper support pipe attach six support pipe assemblies and 12 brackets to the frame and then screw 12 m675 mm carriage bolts 12 watches and 12 m6 lock nuts by using two wrenches this step is a little bit kind of like two men job one person holding the pole or the pipes after it's been attached to each other and the other person inserting the screws and the washers and the, and the nuts in the below portion of the pipe be careful because the screws is a square base uh, not a uh, screw. It has to sit in the screw hole properly before Step 7 
assemble the net. There are six bands on the net. Insert six bands through six top caps, which is number 10, on the upper support pipes. Attach six plugs to six bands. Insert the plugs to the sockets. Align the connecting holes of the net to the triangular rings of the jumping mat. Insert a rope, which is number 11, through the connecting holes and the triangular rings. This step is a little bit um, technical as to you cannot you cannot know what holes or what triangle spring uh, spring ring to pass this line through so you can just use your discretion to know how far this loop is gonna be apart from each other as for me I counted like four triangle rings I, I think four or five triangle rings uh, that's where the line went through each time it comes down to the ring by the spring so also be careful with this step because you may get tired easily steps 8 and step 9 are to assemble the ladder and to secure the trampoline to the ground these steps are pretty easy so I did not show the process to assemble the ladder um, it's pretty straightforward they are not out in accident in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that as children will be on this trampoline, they shall stay more healthy and fit in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Your yeah, commission now. Commission for you. <laughs>